Hi, folks. So I already did this before, but I want to go ahead and do a slightly faster version. We're just going to run through how to actually make a squad list for the X-Wing Miniatures game in the current version of the game, which is 2.5, as the community has dubbed it. That's Atomic Mass Games' latest rule set, and that's the one that is mostly current that tournaments are going to be for. So real quick, you get a you can build any list. So the first thing you do is you pick your faction, one of the seven available factions, Rebels, Empire, Scum, Resistance, First Order, Republic, Separatists. Uh, and then for each squad, you have a minimum of three ships. So you can't do two ship lists anymore. And a maximum of eight ships. So you can't do nine, of course. Uh, and then for any given squad, you have 20 squad points. That is the cost of a pilot of a single ship. Um, and costs range anywhere between two points to nine points being the most expensive. And with each ship, you also get optional loadout value. That's an additional pool of points for upgrades specifically for that pilot. So I've got a 20-point list right here for Rebels. I've got uh, Wedge in the T-65 X-Wing. I've got the Tycho in the A-Wing. I've got Hull Oakend in the Y-Wing, Magva in the U-Wing, Sabine in the A-Wing. Five ships, all the different chassis. Each one has their squad point value here on the top, with Sabine coming in at three, Wedge coming in at five. So you have an idea of sort of the relative value there. And then you've got Tycho has 14 total loadout. I'm using all 14. Now you don't have to use all 14. If your upgrade combo gives you, you know, 12 out of 14, that's fine. Uh, you just don't get any benefit for having those unspent points there. Uh, another thing too, is that you can build a list that has less than 20 squad points. You can do 19, 18, whatever you want, but that's an automatic deficit. That doesn't give you an advantage. All that does is give your opponent free points at the start of the game. They are already considered as scoring your deficit when the game starts. So that is something to watch out for. And again, so you've got that loadout value that is for upgrades specific to that pilot, and that can only be paid, that can only be used to buy upgrades that they have the slots for. So like Tycho, for example, has a cannon and a missile slot, but doesn't have a torpedo slot, so I can't buy torpedoes for him. Uh, you'll also notice that some of these ships don't have a loadout value. That's because they're what's called a standardized loadout card, which you're gonna see right here. And that's just a card that has a single large format card that has all the upgrades built into it, and the cost is for that. So you probably end up with more loadout value than you would normally get, and some upgrades that you can't get on a card, like It's a Trap, is not on a card. You can't pay for it anywhere else. Uh, but you do end up with a combination of traits and abilities that may be slightly different. So that is the long and the short of how to build a squad list in X-Wing 2.5. 20 points, uh, 3 to 8 ships, and you get loadout for the individual ships. Hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully that gets you up and running. Um, for builders, right now this is yasb.app, Y-A-S-B dot A-P-P. It's one of the more common web-based builders that you can use to build your lists and has these handy dandy print and export options. You can go ahead and just take your list to a game night without having to mess with all the cards if it's not a tournament. Uh, and then another one that I personally use is Launch Bay Next. It's visually a little bit more appealing on the um, web format just because it has the large scale pictures. But Launch Bay, I use most in the phone app. So my Android app is, is where I do most of my list building, and this is kind of just the web-based version of it. To get to the web-based version, it's launchbaynext, all one word, dot app, dot app. And Andre Lind and Rathos, who does Yasby, are both absolute heroes of the community. They keep things updated very promptly, so anytime new releases come out or points change, they'll have this pretty current. So this is a really good reference to see what things cost. That's it. Hopefully that's helpful and uh, happy list building.